So thank you. First up, we will have Emily. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here for our second in a row gold sponsor um, uh, presentation. So if I can move to the next slide. Um, for those of you who don't, don't know Twist, we were uh, founded in 2013, um, and uh, we recently uh, did an IPO, and we have a global presence, so we are building a, a team that's able to support you uh, throughout uh, the world. And uh, Twist is uh, founded on a foundation of a, a silicon chip where we can synthesize millions of oligos, and that is in contrast of, of to the classical synthesis of DNA uh, on a 96 way plate. And so the uh, silicon chip gives, gives us a, 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 a very disruptive uh, throughput and cost advantage, as well as a quality advantage, to support your targeted sequencing workflow. And what I'll talk about today is uh, around three themes. Uh, the first theme is the theme of uh, fast optimization, which means that um, once you have an idea, you can get your first data uh, in a few weeks, so that you know if it's you know, the, the right direction for your science. Uh, I'll talk a little, about, uh, quite a, a little bit of, of uh, sequencing efficiency, and our goal is to uh, enable you to get the data you need with the least amount of sequencing possible, uh, so that you can have um, a lowest cost per sample possible. And finally, we want to give you as great flexibility as possible uh, to really enable any workflow that, that you want. So first, uh, sequencing efficiency. This is what we are trying to do. Uh, you can see that there is a target region you want to capture, and the goal is to get to 300, uh, sorry, to 30x coverage uh, with as little uh, sequencing as possible, meaning that we don't want to over-sequence any target because that's just waste of your sequencing dollar. At the same time, we don't want to under-sequence anything, and we definitely don't want to have any off-target. So the, what we have achieved with our solution is uh, 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 balancing the, the coverage such that uh, you don't have under-sequence region, you don't have over-sequence region, which is important for 30x coverage. But now if you think of going to 400x coverage for uh, uh, cancer samples or thousands of x coverage for uh, securing uh, uh, DNA, it's even more important. Um, and we've built uh, the technology and, uh, and it's working. And uh, last year we said that it will work and now this year uh, hundreds of you have tried it. And so just to give you a quick summary, I have a table with um, uh, almost 10 designs. At the top it's a very small design with just 139 probes. And at the bottom it's a bigger design with 135,000 probes. And, and, um, and they all work well on the first time. And for us, working well means that uh, if you have 150x of raw sequencing that you uh, filter uh, at, at uh, Q20, um, more than 95% of your bases uh, have uh, 30x coverage. So with as little sequencing as, as possible, you get coverage on all the bases that you want. And that's what you can get on the first try. Um, next, uh, I'd like to speak a little bit about the flexibility. So what's, what was available so far is an enzymatic uh, fragmentation kit, a combinatorial uh, adapters, uh, enrichment reagents for high buffers and so on, and then any contents you want, either catalog content or custom content, as well as some beads. And we're adding to that workflow. The first thing that we're adding are uh, UDI's adapter. And we have a you know, classic way of uh, adding adapters, sharing the DNA, ligating the adapters, but the UDIs are actually added at the last step through PCR, which brings uh, uh, a few advantages. The first advantage is that it maximizes, um, it's ma it maximizes the yield um, and it removes the primer dimer. So you can see on the left with the Y-shaped adapters, there's always some primer dimer. With our adapters, that demo is gone and you get much more yield, so you need less PCR cycles to uh, go to your next step. And because the dual uh, adapters are added through PCR, um, it's uh, much easier to have a much no larger number of, of barcodes 
Uh, we're starting with 384 barcodes, but we have the foundations to go to thousands of barcodes, as you can think of high throughput. So the idea is, is to uh, yeah, create the foundation for adding more and more samples on, on Nova 6. And uh, the next thing that we are adding is uh, universal barcodes. And as you know, in the workflow, uh, the adapter can daisy chain to each other, so you have to block them. And uh, uh, depending on the size of your barcode, uh, you may have to uh, uh, get blockers for eight barcodes or 10 barcodes, uh, 10 base pair barcode. And we've, uh, we've eliminated that by having one uh, blocking uh, solution. So, and I'm showing here data of um, uh, six base pair barcodes on the left, all the way to 14 base pair barcodes on the right. With or without UMI, it's, it's one tube, it works for all your samples. So, if you're thinking of putting together on one lane uh, samples that come from different collaborators, different library preps, um, uh, you only need one blocker. And the next thing that we're adding is the fast hype experiment, so, so the fast hype reagents. Uh, in the past, we used to have a 16-hour hype to get the maximum uh, efficiency. And now we have changing the, the buffers for hybridization. And you can achieve the same results in 15 minutes to, so that you can go from a sample to the sequencer in the same day. So just to show you some data, on the left, we have the exome uh, um, uh, data. Uh, in, in gray, uh, you can see that uh, 16 hours high previously uh, is as good as 15 minutes high with the, with the new buffer. And if you wait 30 minutes, one hour, it gets even better, but uh, uh, you get the, the same performance at uh, 15 minutes than you used to get at 16 hours. And so on the left is a big panel, on the right is a very small panel. It works both ways. You get very high on target, very high um, percentage of basis curve. And uh, last, uh, we are adding a mechanical fermentation. If you guys are, are uh, interested in using the covariance, maybe for FFP sample, uh, we have that kit as well. So the idea is um, uh, we used to have a great sequencing efficiency. And now we are adding to the workflow to enable you to get that, that efficiency with the least effort possible. So um, saving you uh, sequencing dollars uh, thanks to efficiency and saving, saving you effort uh, for the work. Last but not least, um, <clears throat> I've shown you our NGS um, uh, portfolio, and you'll hear from our customers uh, how great it works in their hands. But we do other things. Um, we especially uh, do a lot of gene synthesis. So if you know people that uh, are spending their time cloning, you should tell them to go to the TWIST website. It's twistbioscience.com slash shop. Uh, and remember, friends don't let friends clone. So if any of your friends are cloning, they should go on the website. In five minutes, you can, get, uh, you can order your gene and you get it shipped to you in two weeks. Your gene and your vector deliver perfect. We do uh, oligo pools uh, for, uh, uh, as guide RNA for um, CRISPR experiments. We, uh, we can build a protein and antibody libraries. And we also do quite a bit of uh, data storage. So coming to a data center near you uh, soon, uh, any data that's very important will be able to store it in DNA uh, for the very long term. So with that, uh, I'll stop. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and, and I think you're going to have a very, uh, really great time hearing from our customers and, and the great work that they, they have been doing. Thank you.